in the headlines of this bulletin, the National Online Meeting to review the state administrative reform program in 2011-2020 phase and to build a new one for 2021-2030 phase. The term meeting to review preparation tasks for the election of the 15th National Assembly and deputies the People's Councils at all levels in 2021-2026 term. The meeting between leaders of Kansas City and youth union cadres and members in 2021 with the theme of starting up and setting up business. Hello and it's good to have you back here in this edition of Continuous and Top News today. In the afternoon of May 18, Prime Minister Nguyen Xuân Phúc presided over the National Online Meeting to reveal the state administrative reform program in 2011-2020 phase and to build a new one for 2021-2030 phase. Attending the meeting in Kansas City were leaders of the Municipal Party Committee, People's Council, People's Committee and relevant department setters. At the meeting, delegates straightforwardly shared difficulties and shortcomings. For example, there were still legal documents that had signals of violation, administrative procedures of unpopular usage, not popular ones were cut, administrative apparatus were still cumbersome, quality of contingents of officials and civil servants were weak. Speaking at a meeting, Prime Minister Nguyen Xuân Phúc raised efforts made by ministry centers and localities in the administrative reform task over the past 10 years. In the meantime, he suggested ministry centers and localities continue penetrating guidelines viewpoints of the party on administrative reform, developing apparatus to create legal base and build platform database serving for the development of e and digital governments. In the morning of May 18, Kansas City's Election Committee organized a third meeting to review preparation tasks for the election of the 15th National Assembly and deputies of People's Councils at all levels in 2021-2026 tenure. In its remark, generally, preparation for the election were done strictly and legally. The National and Municipal Election Committees and localities have enacted resolutions and proclaimed election units and number of elected deputies. Accordingly, Kansas City has three election constituencies of the 15th National Assembly with seven deputies to be elected and 11 election constituencies of the City People's Council with 54 deputies to be elected, 66 constituencies of district People's Councils with 287 elected deputies, 448 constituencies of the People's Councils of communes, Strauss and Towns with 2,038 elected deputies. Dissemination for the election, assurance of political security, social safety order, and epidemic control were concerned. Concluding the meeting, standing Vice Secretary Cam Chairman Phan Bang Hiu noted that in coming time, the election committees at all levels need to regularly and timely update instructions from the center in the city. Chairman of the city's election committee also noted some major tasks in the election, such as formulating list of voters, writing voters' cards, organizing training on the election, and paying attention to COVID-19 control. With a team of starting up and setting up business, the meeting between leaders of Kansas City and typical youth union cadres and members in 2021 took place in the afternoon of May 28, under the instruction of Vice Secretary of Kansas City Party Committee, Cam Chairman of Kansas City People's Committee, Jung Vic Jung. Also attending the meeting were leaders of department centers of Kansas City, economics, and 60 typical youth union cadres and members. Many inquiries were posed by youth union members at the meeting. These inquiries revolved incentives from the Center and Kansas City People's Committee to support for youth business startup, technological supply demand connection information between the city and businesses, investors, and technological orders, business startup ideas of youth union. These inquiries were answered by representatives of Camden Centers. In the meantime, attendants also had chance to exchange knowledge and experiences on business startup with experts. Concluding the meeting, Chairman Trang Vic Trung directed Camden Centers to continue boosting the propaganda, organize programs and activities to equip knowledge and skills to help youth union members and youth be confident, active, and creative in business startup. 
In the afternoon of May 18th, Vice Chairman of Kansas City People's Committee Nguyễn Ngọc Hè came to check the construction progress of the project of building Kansas Airport Belt Road in Bình Thủy Upper District. The project of building Kansas Airport Belt Road in Bình Thủy District is invested by the Construction Investment Project Management Board, with the total investment level of more than 137 billion Việt Nam dong. The project was started construction in late 2019 and was built by Hoàng Gia Construction Trust Stock Company and Thang Lam Trust Stock Company. However, the construction progress of the project stood at just 4% due to no construction site. After listening to reports by the main investors and construction units, Vice Chairman Nguyễn Ngọc Hè noted the main investor to arrange work so as not to affect on traffic. Also in the afternoon of May 18th, Vice Chairman Nguyễn Ngọc Hè came to inspect the construction progress of the project of building the Retainian Dike in control of landslide on Tranok River in Thuy An Dong Road, Bình Thủy District. The project has the length of nearly 200 meters and has the construction cost of nearly 15 billion Việt Nam dong earmarked from the budget and invested by Kansas City's Irrigation Sub-Department. The project has completed nearly 90% of work and will be completed in April 2021. The Vice Chairman highly valued efforts exerted by the main investor while noting on quality, labor safety of the project for the most efficient performance once it will be completed. In other news, in face with the increasing situation of traffic accidents, Chairman of Kansas City People's Committee Trung Vik Trung he just released the official letter number 836 on boosting solutions to ensure traffic safety order. Accordingly, the Chairman assigned Kansas City's Traffic Safety Board to combine with communication offices to boost propaganda and mobilize people at all classes to abide by law, take out a plan so as to overcome accidents and traffic jams at hotspots, and organize inspection groups to treat law violations that cause traffic accidents. In the meantime, department centers continue implementing this task at offices and schools in line with the model of people's participation in keeping traffic safety order. Also implementing the instruction of the chairman, the city's traffic safety board and public security and transport department have also made the PIC plan for ensuring traffic accidents. On May 17, Fondings of Urban Districts Education and Training Chamber organized the district-level Good Students Contest in 2020-2021 school year. Participating in the contest were more than 170 contestants of grades 8 and 9 from junior secondary schools. Contestants underwent the physics, biology, history, geography, civic education, and informatics in the form of essay. DSM Council gives marks for the contestants in two days on March 18 and 19, 2021, and results will be proclaimed on March 22, 2021. This is the chance for the educational center to fight out excellent students to prepare for the city level good students contest to be slated on April 22, 2021. The public security of Thuc Nop Urban District he just combined with the inspection group on urban and traffic order, construction and environment in Thuc Nop World to re-establish urban order. The group disseminate and mobilize households trading along Thuc Nop River Retaining Dike, the Night Market, Trade Center and Lady Tao Road, not to occupy sidewalks and roads to do business. In the meantime, the group have removed occupying things, remind people of putting them at right places, and make minutes on intentional violation. And up next, we have the updated weather forecast. The updated weather forecast that just wrapped up this edition of Continues. If you want to watch again in this bulletin, please visit our website, gentertv.vn. And now thanks for being with us. Goodbye and see you next time.